Command Sergeant Major Dan Elliott has spent the last 32 years as an active duty soldier and a guardsman. Now, over three decades later, Elliott says the lack of career choices then persuaded him to swear in. It was just, uh, if you will, a career path for me at the time, and I enjoyed it, and, uh, and I'm still doing it. Elliott has over a handful of deployments under his belt, taking tours in places like Sinai and Djibouti, Africa. Although it was his job to go overseas, Elliott says he was always ready when it came time to return home. You miss a lot of things. Uh, miss <clears throat> them growing up, of course, a lot because I was really you know, involved in my career and it was hard to uh, to manage that and all the time away. But the Sergeant Major isn't alone when it comes to putting on his greens. His wife, who is a recruiter, and three of his sons are also in the Army National Guard. One of the first to join was his son specialist Dustin Elliott, who enlisted just two years ago, despite the current war on terror. I didn't really think about the time of war. I was just yeah. like, I want to join, I want to try it out, I want to see what they can do for me. And, you know, and it's really been going good so far. The specialist has already served time in the sandbox, and in just two days and a wake-up, Sergeant Major is expecting his two other sons to return from their deployment from Afghanistan. And that'll be the first time I think we'll be together, uh, all of us as a family, uh, in three, four years, I think, yeah. since, since we've all been together. We're going to have a good Christmas this year. Proud of the leader he's become to both his unit and his family, Sergeant Major Elliott has less than five years before he must retire. But he says that day is still far from his mind. So as long as I'm not broken, as long as, as, as I'm value added to the organization, I'm going to stay uh, and, and, until it's time for me to leave. Nick Delgado, PNC News.